For the next 24 hours, I'm gonna be using the worst reviewed product on earth, the Humane AI pen. This is bad at almost everything and does basically all the time. My father-in-law was able to mow six acres of grass before I was able to even get this thing started. Does anyone wanna buy this from me? It's um really good. It seems that this device is universally hated by pretty much everybody. What I want to know is if it's really that bad. The Humane AI pin was created by geniuses in a lab to essentially replace your phone. But by far the most important thing it can do is answer life's biggest questions. Like, where is the nearest pizza shop? Oh, I can't see it thing. I can't see the screen. I have to go somewhere. This is a great start. Essentially, you ask the device for help and it displays its answers using a projector. My biggest risk by far is the battery life running out, which is why I have a backup battery pack. If this thing dies, I literally have no way home. It's a five minute walk. Head southwest on Broadway towards West 44th Street. Turn right onto West 44th Street and then left onto 8th Street. Uh, it doesn't even tell me the name of it. Okay, well, we're gonna hope we find something. I quickly discovered that the device does not show you a map. It just explains to you step-by-step -step directions. And before too long, I, uh, well, I was completely lost. I actually had to ask somebody which direction south is. I mean, it wasn't the greatest directions, but I did find pizza, so technically, mission accomplished. Take a picture. That's right, you can ask it to take photos. Actually a pretty cool feature, and at the end of the day, we'll see how magnificent the photos actually are. That's either gonna look really good or really bad. <laughs> the reason I'm in New York is because the last time I was here, I was playing rock, paper, scissors with The Rock. I've never come to New York to just be a tourist, and I can't think of a better way to test this product. I've got the top five tourist destinations in New York City that I wanna visit using absolutely nothing but the AI pin. Give me directions to Central Park. Oh, it's so hard to read. The drive to Central Park, no, I want, I have to walk. Give me walking directions to Central Park. I literally I cannot read this thing, this is insane. I think Central Park is this way. I'm gonna walk this direction. Yeah, it's not a great start, but maybe it'll help me be more present. <laughs> Honestly, not a bad thing. Central Park, baby. Oh yeah, it got me here. It did exactly what it said it was gonna do. One point for the AI pin. It's not even up against anything. I don't know why I'm giving it points. Anyways, it worked. Take that, MKBHD. <laughs> so essentially this entire pin is powered by AI. Aside from the fact that you pay $699 and probably wait for several months at this point to receive your product, like I did, and have to send your product back because it didn't work, I did take this all the way to Paris and I wasn't able to use it. That is pretty sad. They had to send me a completely new unit. Even though I'm absolutely demolishing the battery life, I'm kind of having fun with some of these features. What is right in front of me? A floor cart with cart is selling hot dogs. If you were visiting like Japan, this might be very helpful if you're trying to determine what that restaurant serves. I'm trying to give these guys credit where credit is due. I think you could probably do that with your phone. <laughs> Take a picture. Nice. I can't look at it because there's not a screen. I'll look at it later. It's for the memories. I'm present. Okay, give me a break. But asking the AI pin even one question actually drains the battery life by up to almost 20%. Tell me a cool fact about Central Park. Central Park was the first public landscape park in the United States and spans roughly 843 acres. Dang. Which is larger than the Principality of Monaco. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's funny because it seems like every new product that gets released lately touts that they were specifically designed to make your life better. I'm not sure if that I can say that the AI pin makes my life better quite yet, but a product that definitely has made my life better is AG1. What am I holding out in front of me? I've personally been taking AG1 for the last six months due to some gut health problems that I was experiencing last year. And with the travel packets, I'm able to take AG1 with me everywhere I go. You're holding a clear plastic bottle with a silver lid containing a dark green liquid. What I love most about AG1 is that it's backed by real research that shows 80% of participants seeing real gut health improvements in just 30 days. Does AG1 help improve your gut health? I've personally seen gut health improvements by using this product, which is why I couldn't be more stoked to have AG1 as a sponsor on my channel. Yes, AG1 helps improve gut health. Scan the QR code or visit the link in the description to check out AG1 and get five free travel packets as well as a year's supply 
of vitamin D3 plus K2 with your first subscription. Thank you, AG1. Before long, it was time to head to the next spot and put this pin up against a more difficult task. Can you give me directions to the Brooklyn Bridge using public transit? Walk to Fifth Avenue and 59th Street. Take the subway from there to Lexington Avenue and 59th Street. Total travel time is about 25 minutes. I don't know which street I'm on or near. It did not tell me which trains to get on. It just said get on a train. So let's just say that GPS is not its best function. I actually ended up getting completely lost and uh, ended up having to ask a New Yorker for directions. All that to say, the projector function is useless and it ended up taking me 40 minutes. If you were actually without your phone in a foreign city, I cannot imagine using this device for directions. All right, proof that I made it to the Brooklyn Bridge with the AI pin. Let's do this thing. Take a picture. I do wish I could see the photo. I imagine this is gonna be terrible. <laughs> hey, what can you do? I'm fairly certain that taking a photograph absolutely demolishes the battery life of this thing. Put a booster pack on it, so it should be charging right now, but I wanna see how how far I've depleted the battery. How much battery is left? 26%. Well, you know, not as bad as I was anticipating, um, but it did get all the way down to like 19% on my travel here. One thing I will say that I've been enjoying about the pin is that I have not been able to look at my phone. It's pretty fun to enjoy a place just completely undistracted by your phone. Can you give me walking directions to Wall Street? Gosh, dang it, it's dark. Oh, here we go, okay, 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 this is better. Head west on Park Row. I already forgot Park, Park Row, wait, is it Park Row? Or is Park Row? That says Park Place. What street is this? Oh, this is Park Row, right here. All right, while I'm walking to Wall Street, I'm going to attempt to call my wife, see if she picks up. Call my wife, can you hear me okay? So essentially, it does exactly what it says it's capable of, and from what my wife told me, it actually sounded pretty good on the other end, even with all the outside noise. It did, however, take a pretty terrible hit on the battery life. So uh, yeah, that might be the last time I talk to her. <laughs> That's a joke, uh, I, I hope. Dang, New York Stock Exchange. We're gonna try to text a photo to Isaac. Isaac's really big into the stock market, it's like his thing. Take a picture. Honestly, I'm starting to see more and more what makes this device so bad. Yeah. If you take it off, then it gets locked, and then if it's locked, you can't do anything with it. It's a bit maddening, borderline getting angry. There are features that either don't exist or they are performed extremely poorly to the point of frustration that you don't even want to try. Can you give me directions to the top of the Empire State Building? We got directions, should take about 10 minutes. Perfect timing for sunset. And even with that terrible experience, I'm actually pretty stoked for this last tourist spot. Yeah, that's pretty dang cool. So when I was a kid, I watched this movie called Sleepless in Seattle. At the end of the movie, the kid in the movie, he goes to the top of the Empire State Building and he camps out there for the night, basically waiting for his mom to show up. Anyways, I just remember that vividly in my brain and ever since I was a child, I wanted to go to the top of the Empire State Building and watch the sunset. No way, there it is. Told you guys, Sleepless in Seattle. That's the one. That's what I watched as a kid. Well, the battery life just about lasted, but all in all, the pin is, well, it's it, it's terrible. For $699, I can't imagine anyone being happy with their purchase, especially when it doesn't even do what it says it's doing. Take a picture. 